Do you know where your next 10 deals are coming from? Hi, this is Jason Daniels with Move Up in Real Estate. And most agents, nine out of 10 agents, have no clue where their business is coming from next month, next year. It's really important to have a game plan. So we talked about earlier doing Popeyes, staying in touch with those people in your sphere, those past clients. But how are you asking for referrals? Are you a little timid? Most agents are. It's almost like picking up that 800 pound gorilla, that phone. I'm gonna to talk to you about that. It's really important to ask for referrals. However, the mentors that I've coached and trained with, Brian Buffini, Michael Mayer, many more, earlier on in my career, you've gotta provide value. Provide value. What does that mean? Provide information that's valuable to the client. Send them an email, a newsletter, do a pop by, again. However that value that you can provide, provide them the value first and the ask comes second. You can ask in several ways. You can ask over the telephone. I like to do what Brian Buffini calls the uh, Columbo approach, where you have a conversation and especially if you know this person and their family, ask them how you're doing. Say, hi, this is Jason Daniels with Finch Gabe Real Estate Company, just following up. Wanted to see how you and your family are doing. Are you enjoying your home? Or, you know, last time we spoke, you said, you know, your little Timmy was playing soccer and he made it into the quarterfinals. How did that go? You want to take notes. So when you ask for that referral, it's not the whole phone call. At the end, you can simply just say, oh, by the way, I'm never too busy for your referrals. That's just a real soft, easy way where you don't feel like you're picking up the phone and asking people because most people don't want to go bothered on the phone. And certainly you probably don't either. We all get a lot of phone calls these days. That's one way to ask for referrals. Another way to ask is in person when you do the little pop by. Get us on a plop by. You don't want to sit in their living room for an hour, but as you're standing on that front porch, at the end, oh, by the way, I'm never too busy for any referrals. Happy to serve your clients. So that's, again, an easier way to go about that. In person, on the phone. You can also put it in your email signature, in your uh, letters you write or notes. You can write little note cards uh, when you're following up after a pop by. Uh, that's definitely an important way. Another way you can ask for referrals from strangers is uh, what uh, Buffini Company calls the Mayor Campaign, where if you're at a grocery store or a Home Depot or some store and you happen to overhear someone talking about real estate, you can build your sphere and ask the person you had a friend or family member that needed to sell a home or was interested in investing in real estate, do you have a realtor you'd call? So we're going to do a whole other video on that, on how to build your SY list. So if you just were to parachute into a location and needed to start your business over again, that's going to be a reason to watch the next video um, down the road that we're going to be shooting because I started my business with hardly anyone that I knew that I could market to and built it this way by referral. It's the most profitable. So keep watching our videos. Like, subscribe, link below, comment. Do all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the next video.